So I've been in a very exciting time. I have to say it's a delight. The inside of Ovid is ticking like a clock. And while I'm a very proud CEO, and you'll probably discount that, the fact of the matter is that Ovid is at this time in a very remarkable uh, position. We are executing. We told the street when we started that we would execute on our phase two in Angelman's using OV101. We're doing that. We're completely, in, we are enrolling. Amit will probably talk to you, our head of development will talk to you about that. But our enrollment there, the way we're executing on that is exactly on target. At the same time, we, we entered into a very innovative relationship with Takeda earlier this year, 2017. And in fact, have been that was so innovative, it's a remarkable agreement. It's their drug focused around epileptic encephalopathies. These are these rare epileptic encephalopathies. They invented it. We encouraged them to think about this drug in rare epilepsies. They were thinking more big disease. We then purchased 50% of it. Amit and us are now running it conjointly, a completely seamless team with Takeda, completely seamless. And at the same time, we are responsible for executing a development program with them. And that development program has run exceptionally well. We promised the street that we'd have it out by the end of the year. In fact, we initiated in June and our first patient was in August and we're rolling along. So if you look at the flow this year, right now we're right where we said we'd be in it and a little bit ahead of time, about six months ahead of in one program. In addition, we expect upcoming results in the PK results for the phase one. And this is a very pivotal and strategic decision. That result, unlike other phase ones, is very special. That phase one will execute on what you described as the orphan drug act. How do we actually get things to a younger patient? Our whole intent is to get our drugs to younger patients. So, by formulating, by running, by looking at patients, Angelman's and Fragile X patients in our phase one, we will for the first time ever define how you can approach those patients. And this is very special because what this means is that you can now drive that drug which has got over 4,000 patient safety database, a very good and very interesting database, and safe, great safety track record, right down to these young kids. And that will be allow us then to start trials in much younger, potentially above two years old. But we have to discuss that with the FDA yet. So upcoming, I think this very short period of time, you should see that strategic PK result. You should see scientific publications coming from the company which for the first time will talk about how we understand the mechanism of action of our drugs. We haven't published to date but we are doing that. In addition to which that on both programs, the programs for OV101 and indeed the programs for 935 which is the t joint Takeda program. So that's all this this year. So this year is really looking terrific. Our guidance to the street for next year, we, are always con we always like to make sure that what we tell everybody is exactly as we expect it. We expect to see our phase two results with OV101 next year. We're right on target for that. That's for the adults in Angelman's. We also expect to see our uh, results from the 1B2A trial in um, uh, in uh, OV935. I don't give predictions of exact dates. I think we need to watch enrollment and that's all going exceptionally exactly as we'd expected it to do.